this is the, the uh, barbed wire collection, two panels from the, the people who found the piece on their honeymoon. Um, and you can see how beautifully it's been composed. I mean, the rhythm of the, the vertical strokes, the, you know, even as they sit together, there's this, it's, it's not unlike a painting or the decisions that, that a graphic designer would employ. Um, and just even the varieties of, of, I mean, just look at all that there are stars, these, all the, the different me means by which, you know, wire can be used as a, as a, as a barrier and how much ingenuity goes into that. So then suddenly it becomes a sort of reverie about barbed wire, which is so, in a way, such a paradox. This is a collection of belly buttons that this, this, this was an artist who made, who wore a particular kind of sweatshirt that produced a little button of lint in his navel over the course of a day or two. Some people were grossed out by this, but I just thought it was so sweet that this is a kind of like a calendar of phenomena that, you know, maybe only he would notice and the fact that if you, I mean, we've all had that experience of a little bit of lint in our, in our navel, but the fact that he would put them together and they start to look like pills or any number of things. And here's one thing, I, and this is a good example of the capacity for interpretation that these things have is kind of beautiful, I think, in terms of that. And they, they, they're, art, they're like art in that way, that they, they can yield or produce an infinite number of, of readings, depending on how you look at something like this. This was a fascinating object. This was the only thing in the show that was, without question, an artwork. And I have a better picture of that. It was a collection of long, thin objects. And the table itself was, this is just the very tip of the table. And it, it, so it goes from being this thing that's almost like three feet wide at the end. And I think there might have been like some measuring sticks or something at the very end. And all the way, you know, the thing is maybe 20 feet long. And um, he cut, you know, made the table to display these things in this graduated way. So you go from a, like a measuring stick to at the very end, and I have other pictures that show this, uh, there were the second hands from watches. So that we had to, go, we had to actually open this. He, op he made a little tip at the top so that we could get in there and rearrange them every day because the, the traffic in the street outside was sort of making these really tiny things get out of the line. Fishing uh, lures and pencils and I mean suddenly it's like a like totally formal category. Um, and that was the beautiful thing. There was like, you, you name a category, long thin objects, and then suddenly the things that are allowed to, to enter that category are, are astounding because it's so open and yet, you know, what makes it interesting or, or gives it some traction as a collection is the fact that the way it's presented. This is a collection of, there's a better picture of it later, this woman, I forget her name now, was in a rock band and she had a tendency to get headaches and um, I forget the name of the band, it was a punk band and so this is all of the uh, aspirin that models that she consumed and this is exactly how she had it in her home, looking almost like a kind of wedding cake. You know, so that was, we tried to preserve that. I mean, the, it, I think it might have actually been on some sort of weird stand for wedding cakes. This is something I didn't allow into the show because for me it was too much of an artwork, but it was a quilt that was made out of uh, um, uh, labels. So there's too much intention here as, you know, it was felt like the, this, the, the idea was preconceived, the sort of gestalt was established before the, I'm not exactly sure, but it just, this is what I'm, I'm trying to, to point out somehow, is the difference between a collection and, a, and an artwork, and how there's, the thing is, the thing is too sewn up in a way, it's too tied down, or, and a, the collection I think has to, in order for it to be a, a viable collection, I think this is maybe an important point, the collector has to be able to insert and remove at any moment. It's like this thing that's constantly being edited and open for changes. Because if, 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 if it's not, if it's like once this is made, that you can't add any more. You know, you can't make a, and she can make another quilt, but that would be to make another artwork in the end. So this would, for me, it would, it would be a collection if she'd figured out another way to um, demonstrate that it was still open, you know, and it could be edited.